This is the man Martin County deputies say scammed elderly victims out of hundreds of thousands of dollars, all while posing as a law enforcement officer. Treasure Coast Bureau reporter Suji Nam talked to investigators about the growing concerns of this specific type of scam and what you should be on the lookout for so your loved ones don't fall prey. Came and picked up what he thought was gold. It wasn't. And now he's in our jail. 21-year-old Tejas Kumar Patel of Chicago has been charged with multiple counts of grand theft. Investigators say back in May, Patel scammed an elderly Martin County man to pay him $150,000 in gold bars to get rid of what were actually fake arrest warrants. Pictures of of what looked like legitimate uh, identification. Once the man handed over the gold bars to Patel, he then began to realize this was all a scam. The law enforcement, the sheriff's office, the federal government, the U.S. Marshals, we never demand money over the phone. We'll never come to your house and take money in lieu of bond or whatever they're asking for. The victim reported Patel to deputies, and soon enough, the suspect called back to demand even more gold bars. This second time, deputies right there waiting for him. That time there was no gold involved, just actually we put uh, fish weights in there so it looked like he was taking gold. Body cam video shows the moments oh, investigators oh, confront Patel after he took what he thought was oh, real gold. Go. Where are you going? A hotel. What hotel? Deputies say they then found even more gold bars in his car worth $240,000 from a different victim in St. Lucie County. Sheriff William Snyder says there are more suspects out there and even more victims on the Treasure Coast. We have a Marine Corps veteran, served this country, followed the rules, saved some money, and now is out a sizable chunk of his retirement. It is extremely painful. Federal authorities are continuing the investigation and Sheriff Snyder believes there are more arrests to come. If you believe you are a victim, please contact the Martin County Sheriff's Office. In Stewart, I'm Suji Nam for WPBF 25 News.